Okay, here we go. Here's the crate. As promised, I'm going to show you all the um, contents so I don't talk myself out of getting rid of any of them. So this is, um, I organized it. See, it was, I felt proud of myself because I put things that were in the same category into the same crate. So these would be the um, Liz Claiborne free sample bag. Three of them accumulated over circa the last 15 years probably. And here's, um, oh, actually Estee Lauder, sorry. Some free samples. Um, some of them are almost empty. And um, let's see what else. I know, I'm embarrassed by it, but I'm going to show it anyway because that's how I'm rolling. Um, oh, and, oh, this was, okay, this is funny. This, I'm a proud that is in, it's all in the same bag. It was the makeup that I wore one year for a pimp and hoe party. I remember this now. So it's like stuff that I would never wear in real life, like black nail polish and silver lipstick. So that's going to go right away into this bag, garbage bag, tossing it. Oh, and these are samples of a perfume that I used to wear called Pleasures. And we're going to just put those right in here also into this toss bag. Now, here's the things that always catch me. They're like, okay, they're usable in theory, like a comb. It's a perfectly good comb. So then the mental dialogue that I say to myself is, oh, that's a perfectly good comb. I should save it. But no, I have not used this comb since the day I got it. I don't use combs in my hair. Now... I could put it in a donation pile, which I will do because it's sort of, you know, it's in fine condition and it's usable. And um, I will do that also with this bag, which I've saved because of a thought that, oh, it's a perfectly good travel makeup bag, but have I used it in 15 or so years? No. So it's time to donate. Um, so. One of the traps that I fall into is I find things that are theoretically useful for a theoretical person. Uh, I'm going to move the camera back to me. I find things that are theoretically useful for a theoretical person, and then I think, oh, if someone in the universe could use this, then I would feel guilty about getting rid of it. I shouldn't get rid of it, like toss it or donate it. Um, I should save it. Now, that, that, that's thinking that I'm going to let go of today. <laughs> So I realized with the energy of letting go of this furniture in my office that I don't need anymore. I used it when I needed it. Now I don't need it. And I experienced passing it on to people who genuinely wanted and needed it at that moment. And they were very happy to give me money for it. It was like, wow, you know, we can both feel good about this. They can get what they want to need and I can get what I want to need at this moment, which is just letting go and being done with it. I don't have to hold on to it forever. And I don't have to hold on to the need for something when it's no longer needed in my life. So it's honoring where I am and my own change and growth and allowing for growth. And I'm sorry to be talking so excitedly, but it's so true, it's such an epiphany that don't that so much of my life is lived in theoretical terms that I have things that sit in my house because they're theoretically useful someday to someone who's not me, not now. And it's so freeing to just acknowledge that because when you are able to do that and you experience it, and this is not about words anymore, I'm just doing, that's why I'm like, ah! But when you're able to do it and experience it and feel it for yourself, wow, so clear. And there's just no question what needs to be done it's not a struggle anymore. And it took me, you can look at my blog, it's taken me a long time to get to this point in my life, but it's possible and I wanted to share this moment with you and I'm going back to work now to get rid of everything that I don't need anymore. Have a great one.